I want to play one more piece of sound for you, Claire, because I think this is where the rubber might meet the road, as they say. This is Congressman Adam Schiff on Merrick Garland's reluctance to look backwards. Obviously, if the DOJ chooses not to prosecute, Benny Thompson's commitments may not hold. Let me show you that. Look, I think there's a real desire uh, on the part of the attorney general, uh, for the most part, not to look backward. Um, do I disagree with that? Um, I do disagree with that. Uh, and I disagree with it most vehemently uh, when it comes to what I consider uh, even more serious offenses. Uh, for example, a taped conversation of Donald J. Trump on the phone with Brad Raffensperger, the Secretary of State from Georgia, uh, trying to coerce him into fraudulently finding 11,780 votes. Because I think if you or I did that, we'd be under indictment by now. So, Claire, the question is, do you believe that under Merrick Garland, DOJ will, will enforce these contempt um, votes in the House? It'll be interesting to see, first, um, how quickly DOJ acts and what they do, whether they pursue civil contempt or criminal contempt. If they quickly pursue criminal contempt, we have another problem. That is, there will be every effort by Bannon and Trump to delay and to try to make this take months, even years. So it is really important, I think, for Congress to do a gut check and for Nancy Pelosi and the chairman of that committee and other members of that committee, including Liz Cheney, to decide, should we go also down the route of inherent uh, contempt that Congress has done in the past. It would be incredibly unusual, but after all, January 6th was incredibly unusual. Extraordinary times call for extraordinary measures, and that was an extraordinary time. Um, and just listen to Mitch McConnell and Kevin McCarthy and Lindsey Graham. They agreed on that day. They agreed on that day. So I think most of the country wants there to be some kind of accountability for what happened on that day. And if Merrick Garland won't deliver it, or if it can't be delivered in a timely fashion, I think Congress needs to think about using its powers of inherent contempt, which means they would go and arrest Steve Bannon. Wow. Wow. Um, and from you, Claire. Um, I, I